I've already opened up this box because, well, I did the unboxing already and then I deleted it. So I'm gonna do it real quick for you guys. And I'm also gonna tell you guys exactly what I would do if I was using these baits, how I would throw them, what I would throw them on, what size test I would use, how I would pitch them, and just, just all that. So you guys can kind of understand how to use this. So you're just not getting a random, random bait like this jig right here and be like, man, what the heck is going on on this thing? Cause I've never seen a jig like this and it's really sharp hooks, oh my God. All right, so I give away these boxes every month. If you're new to this channel, leave a comment below and be a subscriber. You have to subscribe and leave a comment below to be entered to win and I just give the box away. So since the box is already open, I'm, like, I'm gonna let you guys know at LTB right here, they are giving uh, a donation from the money that is, that is taken in every month from these boxes that you guys, you guys buy from them and they're giving it to the special ops survivors. And I love that because I'm a veteran, you guys all know that if you've been on this channel for a while. So I really, really, really do like that. Good job, LTB, good on you. All right, so the, the first thing I'm gonna go over real quick is uh, this Buddha Baits. This Buddha Baits right here, guys, I would use, this is more of a flipping type bait. Um, it's got a really strong stand. This is a green pumpkin. Little Buddha Baits, little creature baits, kind of small um, profile, which isn't bad. You could be fishing for, it's a good pond bait, but I would take this kind of deal since it has no appendages on the side, this is more of like, to me, this is more like a punching type grass deal or going through pads or flipping against a dock and just slip, sliding it down. Because these appendages won't get hooked on anything. Don't restrain in the brush or anything like that. I would use like a three-aught flipping hook with this. Tie a snell knot, but definitely that's how I would, I would throw this Buddha bait. All right, number two on the list is going to be a walking, it's called a walking paycheck by Throwback Lures. So this kind of lure right here is actually one of my favorite kind of topwater lures. Uh, I like spooks and this is kind of like a spook. This kind of has got like a spook and a yellow magic kind of smashed together because um, it's got an odd looking shape to the tail so it sits in the water differently. So the way that I would throw this bait guys is on a shorter rod, probably like a seven foot rod or like a 6'11 or 6'10, just a short rod with monofilament line. Monofilament is really, really, really ideal for these kind of baits. Now the reason why I say monofilament's ideal for these kind of baits, braid floats, of course, monofilament floats, but fluorocarbon, fluorocarbon's gonna sink, which is gonna pull that nose a little bit farther down in the water. It's not gonna do it if you're just actively casting, but once you stop it, that nose is gonna dip down and the first twitches that you do back to the boat, those are the ones that you really want to be perfect, but since that line is sunk in the water, that thing's gonna do this in the water and it's not gonna look correct. Okay, so I stick with monofilament because when they hit it, it allows a little bit of stretch in the line, which is what you're looking for, so they can embed those hooks in their lip themselves. That's very key. Now, if you, if you use braid, it's really dense, or not, excuse me, not really dense, but it has zero stretch, so when they hit it and they go to pull back, it's either gonna rip the thing out of their mouth or you're only gonna get hooked on like maybe one or two of the, the back end of the trebles. So remember, monofilament on these kind of top water baits. And 12 pound, I use 12 pound if there's no structure. All right, so this, this this bait right here is actually my favorite one on the entire list of uh, that came in the box. This is a snag proof. It's, it's a different type of jig that I've never seen before. It's got really, really, really sharp hooks. I've already hooked myself at the beginning of this just by touching it. It's a snag proof jig, black and blue, which is perfect. But what's different about this jig, guys, is you see it's got these two, I don't, it's almost like it's got a frog, a frog thing going on, you know what I mean? Like a topwater frog deal, but it's hooked to a jig. And I like that you can attach the trailer that isn't directly on the hooks. It's got its own little keeper down here. It's got like a football head style. I would throw this probably in like, I that kind of a jig, I'd probably stay away from as much cover as I can. I might throw it against like a dock lay down, but mainly I think I would probably throw this on like points and stuff that are rocky points and just drag it back. Cause it's kind of got a football head jig, but it's got a flipping, at the same time, it's kind of like a different type of jig head I've never seen before. Might be a casting jig head. Give it a shot, guys. You might be able to reel it back to the boat. Probably not really that easily. Just flip it and drag it. All right, so number, what is this, four or five on this, whatever. Uh, this is a Roadrunner. This is a, it's like an underspin, but it's Randy's Bass Buffet rig. It's 3 8 ounce. This is a, I think this is a very, very, very good for ponds, myself. You probably won't see me throwing these kind of underspins in lakes very much unless I'm fishing for like maybe smallmouth or spotted bass. If I'm in a heavy, if a lake with a lot of spotted bass, this would probably work real well, but ponds, definitely. Take a look at it again. Just throw it on any of your rods that are good for spinner baits and it'll probably work just fine. All right guys, so the soft plastic that you get in this month is bonehead. 
Bonehead is actually, they're made in Texas. This is, they're made in USA, but they're out of Texas. Um, these are like black and purple. Black and purple. So the difference with these ones right now, I can tell you, is the nose of them is hard, okay? And then they got this ribbed effect, kind of like Lake Fork Lures. You guys don't know what I'm talking about. These ribs, Lake Fork Lures uses ribs a lot. So these ribs right here, they actually help the bait have a slower descent. And then the, the little curly tail does helps with slow down as well, but it creates a lot of action. I like these a lot. They don't have a crazy plastic scent, so I don't like baits that have, like, just smell like plastic. And these ones don't. And then the hooks you get are actually 6 aught. I personally don't know what I would use these on in this package. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to pop one of these, these hooks out real quick. And I'm going to try it on the Buddha bait and the, the worm hook. Because usually LTB sends hooks that match the baits that are inside of here. Maybe I'm wrong. These are just weird looking hooks to me. They're kind of wide gap. Well, they are definitely wide gap. But the up here, the keeper isn't really isn't there. All right, so I'm going to try it on this bonehead real quick. All right, so the, the hooks that come with it, they could be used for the bonehead, definitely. They definitely could be used. But with these bonehead, I would personally use, I probably would not use these hooks. I would use like a three-odd or a four-odd worm hook uh, and, and try that. I'm going to try them on the Buddha baits real quick, see if that actually looks a little bit better. But right now, I don't really know what you guys would use these, these uh, hooks that came packaged for, maybe for something else. They fit on the, they actually, they're six-odd, which is kind of weird, but... They fit really well on these Buddha baits. The only problem is it's all preference, guys. I don't really like this huge, massive gap that's coming out right there. I would stick with a flipping hook with those Buddha baits. Maybe you guys can use these hooks for something else, but in this box, I don't feel that you need to use these hooks for anything in here. But I really do like the baits. This is a really good month. This is my favorite, favorite bait that came in this month is this jig. It's, I've never seen anything like it. It's really awesome. Of course, I'm not gonna show you guys how to put this on. That's Dr. Dan's Quarter Bomb. Last but not least, this magazine. This is actually probably the best magazine that LTB has ever put out in one of their, their boxes. All right, so right here, this is the coolest page I think on the entire box. It literally tells the new, the new fisherman how to tie certain knots. And it actually shows very, like a very good job on how to do it. All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for this box. This little unboxing for you guys, so you guys can kind of have an idea. And you get a sticker. Just in case I didn't tell you, you get a sticker. Um, the way you get entered, remember, leave a comment below and be a subscriber. That's as easy as it's going to be. I'm actually, I know you guys want these baits brand new, but I'm going to use these baits in this box right here, in this, in this box. I'm going to use these baits, and I'm going to go out and do some type of challenge. I'm going to go to a pond, and I'm going to catch some fish on these. But you guys will get the box, and the baits are in it. I promise you, you will. So leave a comment below. Subscribe. Follow me on all my uh, social media accounts, Periscope, Luncer, or Periscope, Instagram, Snapchat, all on Chris TV. Till then, hope you guys enjoy the unboxing, and I'll see you tomorrow morning.